certain advise going inside. Not with your reputation for depravity and general aversion to the law, in all seriousness. Your countenance is quite discernible, and there are certain of my consociates who would take it upon themselves to exercise their right to lethal force were they to encounter you in person. But it's good to cross paths with you again, my friend. After head of security at the Diamond, this isn't exactly what I had in mind, but it's still a long way from a mall cop, right? Let's take a walk. Relax. I'm a cop, but I'm not a cop. This is just where the universe put me right now. I mean, I have my path and you have yours. And quite frankly, I don't give a damn about your antics out there. In fact, we may be able to assist each other. I mean, check this out. You see that misguided individual? How do you think he's gotten away with selling drugs in front of that burger shot? Very conspicuously for ten years now. In front of the largest department in the city. He cuts them in. Effenberger, you copy? Yo, Effenberger. I copy. Worst last name ever, dude. <laughs> I mean, Effen what? <laughs> anyway, when you got five, we all need some Effen coffee down here on Dix. And don't forget the Effen cream and sugar. Copy that. All these motherfuckers. Huh? I'm out here getting coffee for cops on the take. And that guy over there is only a modicum of the issue. There's a new cartel running a large-scale cocaine operation out of the Cluck and Bell factory in Polito Bay. And being no doubt, the cops, they're not only turning a blind eye, they're actively facilitating. If you ask me, the cartel and the cops can both go to hell, preferably on the back of the same bullet. I'm talking about a surgical strike, man. Taking out the whole operation. That's why I came to you. Let's go somewhere a bit more unfrequented. I understand your motivation in these matters. If you raid that factory, anything you find is yours to keep. But this isn't about the drugs for me. This is about these assholes running the biggest protection racket in the state. That's the kind of status quo I cannot abide. As far as my part, I can provide all the intel you need. Records, names, locations. We will need to educate ourselves on the factory, though. Gather materials so you can attack it with style and aptitude. Ding fucking dong, Officer Effenberger. We're effing falling asleep over here. Get us some effing coffee. Copy that. I'm on my way. Think about it. If anybody deserves to be fucked with, it's these guys. Can I count you in? Excellent. Now on to the first order of business. Acquire some funds. And fortuitously, we have files on some money laundering operations not far from here. The department allows them to operate for a share of the profits. I suggest we take a more proactive stance. <laughs> Time to do what you do. I'll call you. Let me take these fucking assholes their coffee. Hey, you read me? Location should be coming through. Money launderers on LSPD files with cash to appropriate. I invite you to consider this as a double investment opportunity. A chance to raise the funds we need to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a cartel cop coalition. And as a bonus, you get to disrupt some of your more unsavory competitors. Not to mention, you land yourself a handsome reward when this is all over. I hope life's treated you well since we last worked together. I say that because you have an indeterminate expression I find hard to read. I can't tell if you're elated or dejected. And I respect that. It's very enigmatic of you. Ah! Shit! We got a man okay. down! Pure simplicity. Get inside, get the money, get out. Based on comms, they do not look pleased with you. Shit! Who got hit? Sure, I'm certain. 
Officer, 